Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and today I'm going to show you how you can add a power on off switch to a small appliance that doesn't already have one. This is my Nesco American Harvest dehydrator, and as you can see, there's no power switch on this appliance. It simply turns on when I plug it in. However, I don't want to have to keep pulling the plug when I want to turn it off. So I'm going to be adding a power switch using Leviton's 6 watt rotary cord switch. Make sure you use a switch that can handle the power usage rating for your device. Here you can see that this switch is rated for 6 amps 125 volts, 3 amps 125 volts, and 3 amps 250 volts. If you know the wattage rating for your device, divide it by the amount of volts in your system. Typically, 120 to 125 volts in the US, and that will give you the amps used in your device. Note too that the cord size should be number 18-2 AWG SPT1 with a 0.215 inch max outside diameter and parallel wire configuration, that is a two prong plug only. The power switch is made of plastic and has a scroll wheel on it that can be turned from either side to switch the power on or off. On the front side is a single screw held in place on the back by a hex nut. On the left and right sides are openings for the power cord to feed out of. First, open up the switch by removing the screw. One side is hollow and the other contains the switch. Be sure not to lose the nut if it falls out the back. Next, choose where on your power cord you would like to install the switch. Use a sharp knife or razor blade to separate the wires by cutting a slit approximately 5 eighths of an inch wide. Be careful not to cut into the insulation or expose any copper wire. Now, if you look at the sides of your power cord, one side should be smooth and the opposite side should be ribbed. On a polarized power cord, the wide or fat blade corresponds to the ribbed or neutral side and the smaller, narrower blade is on the smooth or hot side. You'll need to cut the smooth cord at the midpoint of the slit that you made. In the hollow half of the switch, note which portion has a small wall dividing the left and right side. Place the cut cord on the side with the divider. In the top half of the switch, these copper spikes on either side of the wheel will pierce the insulation of the cut wire. For my power cord, the insulation was just a little too thick to fit into the cutouts on the sides. But since my dehydrator is a 700 watt device, at 120 volts it'll only draw about 6 amps, so it still falls within the correct power rating for this switch. While I don't recommend this, I did end up modifying the switch housing to accommodate the thicker wire by drilling the opening larger with a rotary tool. Just a disclaimer that this may not be appropriate in every case and could create potential for electrical shock or fire hazard while using the switch, so do this at your own risk. I did have to be certain that I widened both sides of the slot so that the spikes would pierce the correct wire and only that wire. Now, place the cover piece back on, lining up the posts in the corners. Put the nut into the hole on the back if it has fallen out. Then tighten the screw to clamp the two pieces back together. And we're all done, so we can test the switch to make sure it works. Now, when I plug the unit in, it doesn't turn on right away, but I can rotate the switch to turn it on, or off without having to unplug it. I would have liked if the switch had some markings on it to indicate on or off, but I ended up marking it with a permanent marker and I drew arrows to indicate which direction to turn the wheel. Other than that, the switch works great, and it was pretty simple to install. I hope you enjoyed this how-to video. I'll put a link for the switch in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and join me next time.